Hello, everybody. This is Pun Frugal Streamer. Thank you again for the 5,000 subscribers. I think we're at 5,300 now, uh, which is absolutely crazy, to be honest with you, because we've hit that in uh, less than a month. But uh, anyway, I wanted to discuss just what's been going on, and I have a new tutorial for you that I think a lot of people will be interested in. But first, I just wanted to say thank you again. I did the drawing for the Elgato Stream Deck, and congratulations to our cuber he actually follows me he's been following me on twitter for a long time and i've played battlefield with him a lot here in the past so it was good to have somebody that i've known for a while that's actually uh you know interacts with me regularly win this so he's over in india and it was awesome to be able to get him this uh piece of equipment i think he'll put good use to it all right so with that being said let's go on and get to our tutorial which is talking about stream labels now if anybody's known uh, most custom streams have stream labels, uh, but it's been something I thought was probably one of the more difficult things to actually set up. Uh, Streamlabs over the years has made it easier for us, and with Streamlabs OBS, they have made it as about as easy as you can get because we now have a widget with uh, some of the latest, with the latest versions of uh, Streamlabs OBS. Uh, so I wanted to show you real quick just how to set up a few labels, and what I've done here is I've downloaded a uh a pre-made kind of overlay this one comes from nerd or die this is called Clearview, and this is not what i would normally set up but i downloaded it, it was free just for this demo just to show you how to use this and just kind of give you an idea of how to get this set up so we'll switch over here to my streaming pc and here is streamlabs obs and i've already downloaded this and it becomes preset with all these different scenes and all these different sources already built in. Now, for instance, here you have these text labels, uh, follower, new tipper, and latest sub. Two of these were already pre-made, and I've went in and changed this last one that they had pre-selected. And so if you go down to, uh, let's see, let's find text. And I think it's actually called, well. So here, text, latest sub, I've gone in and I've just simply typed in latest sub here and then i renamed it latest sub so that i know where it's at here uh so these are fairly easy to set up uh you know uh, these are just simple text sources uh text plus gdi actually and now let's go ahead and we'll add stream labels to each of these uh little blank fields here okay so it's simply going in and hitting the plus sign Going down to widgets, and down here in the bottom right corner is stream label. Okay, so you click on that, hit add source, and here you're going to rename it. So since we're doing follower, I'm going to do most recent follower. I think that's how I have it set up. Let me pull it over to the side and look. Yeah, so I'm going to do most recent follower here. And I'm going to call it latest follower just because. All right, so then it'll add new source. All right. And let's go ahead and keep these white. So what I'm going to do now is you got label type here. Now they have Streamlabs has hooked you up and pretty much given you every possible combination of uh, alert that you would possibly want to show up on your stream. So it's a matter of going and scrolling down here and finding the ones that you want. So I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom here. Here's the followers uh, area. So go down to followers, and here is most recent follower. Now, this will automatically update from Streamlabs. And as you can see here, you should, when you select this, get a pre-filled uh, name in here, okay? And like I said, as you get new followers, this will automatically update, which is really cool. Uh, so here is, uh, I'm going to just call this, uh, leave this the name. This is the actual code that you would put in Uh that tells Streamlabs this is what you want displayed. Okay. Um, so you can either use the Google fonts if you're uh, used to that. Or with Streamlabs OBS, you can actually use whatever fonts you have installed on your PC. Now, I prefer, you know, my own. Uh, I use Kenny Future for my TFS stuff. All my TFS stuff is Kenny Future. But uh, uh, Nerd or Die has used Google fonts here. So I'm going to select a Google font. And uh, let's go with, I think it's Able. And so we'll go with that. All right, so this is easy. So we'll go with uh, 
this and there you go it's just that simple it's just a simple text and i'm trying to drag it down here there you go and you just place it over here on your uh field here for father now you can resize this as you need to um you can actually change the font size if you want to um, i found it that it's actually nicer to make a bigger font and then reduce it in the window because uh like a size 12 font or something like that it could look kind of distorted um, i would also recommend if you're trying to do fine adjustments on this use your keyboard arrows uh, it's a lot easier to move around and do fine adjustments to get things centered which looks about right there which will be fine all right and so then you can uh you know just click anywhere in your scene and get rid of your box you can also go here down to the latest follower and lock it so that you don't move it okay so that's really all it is to make in stream labels now used to it was kind of a weird way because you had to download a separate app you had to uh point the uh your text file your text uh widget to a file that you knew where your stream labels had been saved to on your computer and do all that now it's really easy because Streamlabs is doing all the heavy lifting for you and they are giving you a widget that already has all this stuff built into it all right so here i'm gonna make another stream label and we'll call this one latest sub we'll add a new source there and we'll change this see here it's, it's going to default always to the top there so you want to make sure you go and find uh the proper text file that you're looking for here and let's get down to subscribers if i can find it here cheers followers subscribers there we go so most recent subscriber and you got the name again so we're going to go and check the google font again and we'll do the able again the regular 36 looks good and so we'll go ahead and pull this down put that here okay and then you can look at the lining the the uh how it lines up with everything else um you can use this a great thing with streamlabs obs is it gives you this uh crosshair cursor so you can kind of gear up how you think it should line up so that probably is going to be pretty good right there actually it looks like maybe move it to the right a little bit all right to center it up in that field and then we'll go there and we'll just make it locked so we don't move it around anymore all right so there is that and then, you know of course we have the last one here we'll make another stream label and this will be the latest tipper add new source and uh we you could do donors i mean there's, you can see all these different things that you got here which is really cool uh, if you're doing a uh say like a uh let's see let's do um i guess we'll do all time top cheers why not <laughs> this one gives you a whole whole list of of stuff so let's go ahead and change that that is definitely not what i want to um let's see do we have a tipper tip 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 most recent cheer let's do that one. that one will work right there so there we go so we'll uh you know you need to resize this go in uh let me change i'm sorry let me change the font to make sure it's all like everything so do that uh one more thing too just run through this there's all kinds of things you can do this with this font you can change the style you can change the font size you got colors here that you can click on you can change the color of the font uh, you can change the opacity if you want to add a gradient to the font you have two colors here where you can have the background color and then it does a gradient to the color that you want it to um, you can again change the background opacity on that you can align it within the box so you can align it to the center uh, vertical alignment to center top bottom wherever you want it in the box also if you wanted to add an outline to the box or uh, a stroke an outer stroke 
Uh, some people call it that. You can add an outline there, and you know. So what? I tell you what, just for just just because. And uh, let's see. Let's go with something kind of funky looking. I'm trying to maybe get close to this color here, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Actually, that's pretty close right there, isn't it? All right, so we just add a little outline there just because. Why not? And uh, we'll move this on down here using the old keyboard. All right, let's get this. That right there should be good. And so there, I mean, you know, there's just kind of, kind of options of what you could do with stream labels and with the text GDI and, and the customization that you could do with that. Uh, but it is, I mean, it's pretty simple to do. Uh, Streamlabs has made it easy for you here in Streamlabs OBS, which is really nice. Uh, it was kind of a pain in the butt before, but again, uh, with Streamlabs OBS, they are making it so that it is easy for new streamers to come in and build these kind of overlays now. So, but that is Stream Labels in a nutshell. If you have any questions, guys, feel free. Um, I'll try to help you out as best as I can. Uh, it really, you know, it really is easy now. Um, Whereas before, it was one of the more difficult things to do, I think. So, anyway, if you like the video and it's helped you out, please hit that like. And if you didn't, hit the dislike, leave some comments. Let me know how, uh, how the video helped you out or how it could be improved. And make sure, uh, if you do appreciate these videos, hit that subscribe button and the notifications. That would be great. I do appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. And this is Pun Frugal Streamer. Have a great week. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.